Bula. That's hello in Fiji. After landing in Nadi, we were greeted with some live music, and then we soon found ourselves on a tour of the city. We visited a modern village and a produce market, we saw a kava ceremony, a sleeping giant, and the largest Hindu temple in the southern hemisphere. We learned how the people here once lived, saw beautiful orchids, and watched amazing fire dances. This is Wes and Teresa here with eight top attractions that you won't want to miss. Welcome to Fiji. We are on a city tour right now. We are at the Hindu temple. It is so colorful and beautiful. They actually hand paint it. They keep it up regularly and the colors are beautiful. So in order to go in, we have to be covered. So they've given us um, some things to wear and uh, so we can't have our shoes on when we go inside. We're heading inside, but we're not allowed to film or take pictures inside the temple. Okay, so we just got back out from seeing the inside of the temple, and it's actually very beautiful in there. Light colors everywhere. It's all hand-painted. There are beautiful paintings of people and, I guess, gods up on the ceiling inside there. This is tapioca. Wow. This is our coconut we're going to drink. You can open it. You can just pull it open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that cool. Meat. That meat you can eat. Okay. Pull that meat out. You can have a try of that meat. Yeah. After you drink, finish, I can come and cut it open for you and you eat the meat inside. Very good. <laughs> I've never had one like this. This is so good. They have already cut the scoop. So this access the scoop. Take out the... Take out the meat. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And you just eat the meat? Yeah, you just eat the meat. And then that's, that's all? You throw the rest away? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Very cool. What do you think? Very good. Okay. Okay, thank you. So this sometimes can act as our breakfast. We cut another one and then we eat it together with that. And mm -hmm. we drink it and eat it, you know? Awesome. Yeah. That is so healthy. Very healthy. So this is the meat of the coconut. It does not taste like coconut that you get in the US, but it's really good. This mountain is in the shape of a sleeping giant. On this mountain is a beautiful garden with a huge variety of orchids and other plants and flowers. So we have arrived to the garden of the sleeping giant. Oh, these are pretty. The flowers, we use them for flower arrangement and the leaves, we use this for covering food while cooking or wrapping food. The umbrella tree. The pink bananas are not edible. There are easy hiking trails and sweet lily pad ponds. Okay, it's 
So apparently in Fiji, the only snakes that you have to worry about here are boa constrictors. Apparently they used to have other poisonous snakes, but they brought mongoose over. The mongoose pretty much took care of them, but every once in a blue moon they find a snake or they see one. So it didn't completely eradicate them, but it's not likely to run into one. These plants are really cool, like these ones on the left. California parrot is what that's called? Yeah. Okay, I didn't catch the name. California parrot, wow, it does look like a parrot. These are pretty. Wow. That is a huge leaf. It's definitely a jungle hike. Totally jungle. You find wild bananas and just all kinds of things here. No monkeys though, that I know of. At the end, you are treated with fresh juice. It's a tropical fruit juice. Okay. A mix of papaya, orange, mango, passion fruit. Oh, oh, thank, thank you very much. We toured a Fijian village and out of respect, our legs had to be covered. We learned that the Fijian people came from Tanzania and Egypt. And sometime later, people from India came as well. This monument has something to do with the first English missionary that arrived here in the 1800s. Here is the John Wesley Church. And we were pleasantly surprised to hear that Fiji is mostly Christian. Maybe that is why the Fijians are so welcoming, friendly, and kind. This is breadfruit. Very cool, they're so big. We went on an evening cultural night tour around a recreated Fijian village from the distant past. This is what their temple looks like. And we met the chief in his house. This is how they got a fire started, by rubbing two pieces of wood together, but the two pieces have to be from the same type of tree. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a round of applause. Inaka. This is how they made their pots. This is the woodcarver's house. The weapons they made and how they're used. When he wrecked upon the model on the neck, back or even... Okay, with the power. the close compact, he's got the hole on the forehead. They showed us how they made their mats. So this is the fish trap. So they put bait down in the at the end of this and the big fish get stuck in there and they can't get out. Little tiny fish they can get out through the cracks. Pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. The Fiji water, we always wondered, is it really from Fiji? Well, it actually is. The water comes from Fiji, it comes from the mountains. It's a U.S. company that comes down here and they get the water out of the mountains. Then they bottle it and that's the Fiji water. This is the earth oven and that's how they cooked our dinner tonight. It was a huge buffet with lots of delicious food. Fried breadfruit and then fish. We had a kava ceremony.
we ate while we watched a dinner show. And an amazing show of fire dancers. At the end, they got everybody up on stage. This was really an amazing night. It took about four hours to, uh, for the entire thing. Highly recommend this cultural tour. We stayed at the Radisson Blue and we loved it. It was like an apartment. We even had a washer and dryer. to browse the shops, pick up some souvenirs, and have some great food. We're having a Fijian ice cream sundae. So we'll see how it is. We got our Fiji water there. Jax has some great t-shirts and souvenirs. We took a day trip on a Captain Cook cruise on the Spirit of the Pacific to their private island of Tavua with snorkeling in a glass bottom boat. It was paradise. The full video is coming soon. I'll link it at the end when it's up. Thou God, what am I but a guide to my own destruction? Believe on the Lord Jesus. His blood was shed for the forgiveness of sins. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and I hope you will come back for the next one.